Hello, Grantronic4 here, and I'm going to be doing some of my favorite titles growing up. Now, just to let you guys know, my first system ever was a Nintendo Entertainment System. But after that, I went straight to the PlayStation. So I grew up as a PlayStation kid. So I didn't get to play much of the Nintendo 64 games unless I was at a friend's house, or GameCube, Wii, etc. Um, I did own an Xbox 360, so I played a good portion of those games. Um, Lost Odyssey, really good RPG. But um, most of the titles that are in my favorites, pretty much all but one, I believe, are all PlayStation titles. Um, and uh, to lighten up the mood for you guys even more, uh, I brought my newest addition to the family, a little puppy. You all love puppies. Ugh. She's a little bit shy, um, her name is Maya, and she's our second dog. Um, we have another dog, a year old. You might have seen it in the preview video, because I have a video I'm making with her as well, that's Kara. But enough about my pets, um, and more about the top 10 games, well not really top 10, uh, 10 games that I love. Um, and I hope you guys have heard of them. Most of them are pretty popular. Um, a couple of them you might not have heard of, and if you haven't, you should check them out. So here we go. Here are 10 games that have been I've loved throughout my childhood and today. <laughs> okay, so for my first game, it is Super Mario Brothers 3, and I feel like this is probably one of the best games ever. <laughs> And all of you are going to be like, what the hell, why would you say that? Well, at the time, um, when this game came out, we didn't have amazing graphics, amazing stories. This game is just amazing. Um, everything you could do in this game. Um, going, Playing multiple players, going through all the worlds. Um, I still hate that sun in the desert. Uh, still, still annoying today. I'm going through all the ships. Um, but... That is one of my favorite games, and it's the only game on this list uh, from Nintendo, sadly. Here's number two. Some of you might have not heard of this. This is Legend of Legaea, or Legaea. Never, never knew how to pronounce it. Um, this was a JRPG that came out. Uh, let me, let me look at the back of this. I'm trying to remember here. This came out in. 98 or 99, I believe. So right around after Final Fantasy 7 and Final Fantasy 8, in between that time frame when JRPGs were the thing, uh, this one was different than anything I'd ever played. It, you put fighting moves in, so you can put punch, kick, and it was awesome. It was so cool. I thought it was amazing because I was a big Tekken fan, and to mash fighting with RPG, Final Fantasy style stuff, because Final Fantasy, I love those games. Mashing those together, I had a ball playing that game. And uh, the story was, eh, you gotta, gotta take away the mist to get all those monsters away. And you do it by going to these trees. I know it vaguely because it's been a long time since I played it, but that game was awesome. I remember staying up for hours playing this game. My number three, and I still love this game today. Um, I can just pick it up, play it anytime and it's probably one of my favorite all-time soundtracks in a game. This is Chrono Cross. Yes, Chrono Cross. A lot of you would probably say, why not Chrono Trigger? And Chrono Trigger is amazing. I'll get, I'll, I'll, I know it's amazing, it's a great game, uh, but it didn't, it didn't, I didn't like it as much as I, most people do. I, I like the game, but it, I don't feel like, like kind of like Final Fantasy VI. A lot of people just, adore that game say it's one of the best games of all time. That Super Nintendo era, those games are great, but I loved Chrono Cross because I played it over and over trying to get the other characters and it was just fun. Just plain RPG fun. Now I'm not saying Chrono Cross is better than Chrono Trigger, but as a kid playing getting into RPGs, this game was downright awesome. So number four is a game that's very popular. Um, not as popular as it was, but uh, Call of Duty Black Ops. Now, 
this was when it came out I was skeptical because it was different than the format they usually go by um, but it had the old school guns I even like the story better when when you're playing the Vietnam era that was really cool uh, but this was my favorite Call of Duty and it was the last Call of Duty I actually really got into the rest was just repetition and now they're into this futuristic stuff that I'm not really into I like that old school shooter and it's kind of sad to see that all the World War II shooters are gone as well because I know that's where Call of Duty got its start was World War II um, and Medal of Honor died out too and that was another World War uh, type shooter but Black Ops uh, one of my favorite titles Next is a game, a series I didn't get into till later, and now I, it's one of my favorite franchises ever. It, this game is Uncharted 2: Among Thieves. Um, I played the first one. I was like, this is pretty good. I really like this. And then I played this game, and I was like, this is amazing. This game is awesome. Now there's a huge debate whether Uncharted 2 is better than 3, and they're both fantastic games. I preferred 2. It was a little bit longer than 3. Um, and they're both great, but Uncharted 2 is just freaking awesome. Uh, one of my favorite games of all time. The next game on this list, uh, and I have the future title of this pre-ordered already, is Fallout 3. Now, this game, I played the original Fallout uh, made by Interplay, uh, not knowing really what it was. I got it in a bargain bin for like two dollars and I was playing it and I was like, oh, this is this is different and I kept getting killed so I didn't know I was young at the time too and I was just trying to pick up RPGs and, and play them and I kept dying so I stopped playing. But then I saw, oh, Fallout 3. It sounds familiar and I looked at, I looked at the case at my de desk at my house and in, at the case it said Fallout. And I was like, huh, the, the, this guy on the front looks very similar to the guy on the Interplay case. So I, I uh, bought it because a lot of people were raving how good it was and I'm, they were right. I really love this game and I loved it so much that I bought New Vegas and I love that game. The problem I have with New, Ve New Vegas is that the game kind of crashed on me and I lost my save so I just stopped playing it because it's just it's kind of heartbreaking when you lose all that progress you've made. Um, but Fallout 3, one of my all time favorite games. Next game is another shooter um, that doesn't get a lot of love. Um, it's the one b before it and the one before that got more love. And they were great games, but for some reason this one, even the, the title music, like, gets to your heart, kind of. Like, it's just crazy. But this is the finale. Um, they made games after this, but this is the end of the story. This is Resistance 3. I just really liked this game. I thought the soundtrack, with the little like girl sound at the beginning was beautiful. It was the game overall was really fun. Uh, wasn't crazy about those screeching dudes, but the, this was a great conclusion to the story. Uh, this next game I played, I would get, I would go to bed at like two in the morning, wake up at seven, and then play all day. And these were this was during the summer. Didn't have a job. I was young. I was a kid. First game I ever played to use a mic. And the last game I played that actually used lobbies for a console. And I still wish lobbies would come back because I really like that. But it is so calm to US Navy SEALs. And you even got the little online broadband only. <laughs> but this game uh, pretty much got me into shooters on consoles in general. I always played shooters on computers. Red Faction being an awesome shooter I played on the computer. But when I picked up this game, uh, I had friend, a friend that lived about an hour away. I could talk to him on there instead of never <laughs> never talking to him until I see him when our parents hung out or something. But we'd go in there, talk with him, have other friends go on. This was basically the start to online gaming and this game was, it was uh, one of my favorite games still. I wish. The newer ones didn't suck so much, but I really loved this game. It was, and for a third person shooter, I, I don't prefer those, but this was one third person shooter that I really enjoyed. This next one, I actually was in a tournament for this and lost the second round to a ring out, which I'm still kind of pissed about because I probably could have gone far. I was really good at this game. I played on like extreme difficulty to practice for days. 
learning the moves. Um, this game is Soul Calibur 2. Um, when this came out, I had played Soul Blade. I didn't get to play Soul Calibur, the first one for the Dreamcast. I didn't get to play that till much, much later when my, I got it for my brother for his birthday because he was into the Dreamcast games. But Soul Calibur 2 was just fantastic. We hadn't seen a game this great, this kind of fighter this great in a long time. Um, same company that does the, that publishes Tekken, and Tekken basically was the PlayStation fighter. And then Soul Calibur, which is multi-platform, and I think Tekken's multi-platform now, I'm not sure. But Soul Calibur came out and I just could stop playing it. Usually a fighting game, you're just done like that. I just kept playing and go to my, bring it to my friend's house, we'd play it. We'd play like the story mode and go through like those mazes and stuff. This game was fun, um, but Raphael, you, you suck, you asshole. This last one, I probably can get a lot of hate for. Um, this game made a lot of improvements from the first one. But this one gets most of its hate because of what it did to the fans at the time. We thought we were gonna be playing one character and they gave us some girly blonde dude instead. But overall, the game mechanics and everything about the game was fun. The story, bleh, who cares, the game was awesome. It was fun. You can say it's, it's not good because you don't have that main character, and that main character was Solid Snake, who is on the cover, who shouldn't be on the cover. Why would you put this guy on the cover when he's in the game for like 15 minutes, at most? But this game, I had so much fun. Um, I was a little young during the first game, and I did beat it, um, but with help from my brother, because he, he told me what to do. <laughs> but this one, I was at the age where I could understand more, and this game, uh, just, I just had so much fun. And it was actually the first time I really wanted to go play a game over again. Um, now I play games over again for trophies, but for this game, I wanted just to get all the dog tags. Um, I thought it was so funny when you when you had your gun out and you point down the privates, and they'd go, "Oh no!" It was, it, it, the game was just all around fun, and the boss fights were great, and just the, the whole Raiden, Raiden, whatever his name is. Don't care. Why'd you put him in the game? But. That's 10 games that I loved growing up and that I still love today. Uh, and I, I hope you like some of those titles. Comment down below some of your favorite titles that I've grown up. Um, and I will be making more videos. I'm sorry I was gone for so long. Um, don't forget to comment, subscribe, share, whatever you want to do. And I'll see you next time. Yeah.